Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I'm glad you joined me again today. Uh, I'm reading from Isaiah chapter 41, beginning at verse 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. So I wanted to talk a little bit about fear. Sometimes the fears that inhibit us from being everything that we should be and, and are capable of becoming. I want to talk about how to handle fear. Well, the first thing that you have to do is stop pretending like you don't have an issue in that area. Actually, almost everyone that I know has some kind of fear or anxiety in their life. Um, I don't want to get into all, all of the specifics there, but I just want to say almost all of us at one point or another hesitate to do something because we're afraid of what, what's going to happen down the road. So it says, fear thou not. What God is saying is you're not supposed to be, and I'm not supposed to be living with fear. Part of the reason for that is if you are a child of God and you put your faith in him, then you are also uh, created by him to be the temple of God's spirit, which means the Holy Spirit of God is with you. Now, the Holy Spirit is not divisible. He's not um, like you got part of the Holy Spirit and I got part and somebody else. It's like you have all the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is capable of creating the universe. The Holy Spirit has enough power to part the Red Sea, really. The, the, Red, the Holy Spirit has enough power to feed 5,000 at a time. The Holy Spirit is quite capable of handling anything that you and I think we can't handle. Uh, he can do it. And it says, Fear not, for I am with thee. When I was uh, new in the ministry, I got a little anxious initially, and I was talking to our deacon chairman in another church, and I said, uh, um, I'm a little concerned about you know, this job and the responsibilities that I have with other people's life, and I, I want to make sure I'm doing well. And he said, are you afraid? And I said, well, I guess I'm a little anxious about it. And he said, don't you know that the same God that called you to serve him is with you? He knows what he's asked you to do. He knows what lies ahead of you on your path. And furthermore, he's walking with you along the way. And I went, well, that's true. In other words, I never was alone. God's with me. When I realized that God was with me, then obviously anything that I'm going to face in my life, he already knew about it. And he is quite capable of handling it. He can give me wisdom to stop, to turn, to go forward. Um, anything that I lack, he's quite capable of providing anything that I lack, whether that's wisdom or knowledge or help or resources, whatever. He's quite capable of meeting me at every point of need in my life. And it says, for I am thy God. It's good to know if you're a Christian, there is only one God. He is the one who is our creator of everything. He knows each of us by name. He knows our situation. He knows what we're dealing with and what load we're carrying. At one point, Jesus said, all you that are weary and heavy laden, come unto me and I'll give you rest. And I was thinking, uh, sometimes I just get tired and maybe I need to remember that Jesus can help me carry the load. He's quite capable of that also. He says, I'll help thee and I'll uphold thee. And uh, I thought it's really, really important for us to remember that that he's able to help us over obstacles, remove obstacles, or even lift us up when we get tired. I'm telling you, you don't have to live in fear of life or what's down the road. You need to take God's hand, the Lord Jesus Christ by the hand, and let him lead, follow him where he leads you, and understand that he's already got it completely under his control. You can trust him. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.